Hey all, Kurt Sasser here from TGT at Fan Expo Canada 2010. We're here with the Kirby Crocker guys with, of course, Jim and Kyle. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic, man. How are you? Oh, awesome. Doing great. Thank you. Now, you guys always have a rocking set when it comes to, to these conventions. You know, you rocked out in Chicago. Yeah. You've rocked out at any other conventions uh, that you've been to this, this year. Yeah. But you're in Toronto now. You're into a hub of, like, truly jazz-type oriented people, rock people. you got all the cultures here. But how was your, your set? Uh, last night. You know, we had a great time at the panel just uh, performing acoustic versions of our songs. We kind of do like a VH1 storytellers thing where we talk about it and then we play a song and, uh, you know, we had to come back to Toronto. We were so looking forward to Fan Expo after last year. It's one of our best shows last year and the fans again treat us to a great time and, and we just, you know, Toronto shows us love and so we want to show Toronto love. And how's the trip to Toronto here and how, how have the people been this weekend for you guys? They're amazing. I mean, the fans here are some of the best. We love talking to them. Everyone super enthusiastic uh, just generally we have such a great time here we you know we were talking about this show like in the middle of other shows we're like sweet remember Toronto we need to go back like so we love the city and we love the people here so you know a lot of love for Toronto well you guys have a really good booth here because you got the traffic coming up from the floor there's like yeah, yeah. 60,000 strong you know you got people walking by what has been their, their comments about uh, about Kirby Crackle uh, you know I think people often look at us just with a confused look so you you know, we're very proactive in letting them know we're a nerd rock band and what we do. We have our pitch we always kind of do, you know, and, and then we play the songs for people and uh, fans of like the new t-shirts that we have and, you know, a lot of times Jim Mafood, who always rocks our art for us, he does an awesome job and that draws people in a lot of the time. It's very kind of engaging and poppy and, uh, and that's why we use his stuff too, so. Well, what's been different, you know, since Chicago? What is What have you added to your, your collection? What have, what have you changed? Uh, what have you made Kirby Crackle better with? Um, so, so we've debuted a couple of new videos since then on our uh, on our YouTube channel. We've uh, added a brand new T-shirt. We're actually going to have another brand new T-shirt in New York. Um, we have like these uh, brand new button sets, which we actually debuted here at the show. So it's like this like four button set, and it's just like a lot of fun, like a nerd rock button and a what's your secret identity button. Um, just like little things like that, like cool merch, and uh, and then we're just still here supporting our uh, our second album, which came out in March. So you know, for us. It's uh, like it's a six month six month baby. Like you know, it still needs a lot of love, and uh, we're just having a great time. Yeah, like a burrito. Yeah, still in there. <laughs> as long as it's not like a rock in the stomach type no, deal, yeah, but no, yeah, this, this yeah. definitely looks like it's a labor of love. It's slow, yeah. <laughs> This is labor love for you guys. You know, you, you, these videos that you've had on the on the YouTube channels, the animation that, that was done for them. Who actually did those? Uh, her name is uh, Betsy Lee. Is the animator that did uh, the animation for um, Up Up Down Down. You know, the fan response has been really great to that. We hoped it would be because we really liked it, and she's great. Uh, and then we also did a video for On and On, our song about Wolverine, and that was a live action kind of music video slash fan film. And uh, that is starring our friend JD Green, who spent three months bulking up to be Logan, and our director friend. And Todd uh, Downing from uh, Seattle. Uh, he's best known for his work in a movie called Ordinary Angels, and he uh, directed it. And we have ninjas and guys dressed as Nightcrawler, and it was we're really happy with it. So I definitely have to take a look at that video here. Uh, I, I love the music, though. The up, up, down, down song was one of my favorites. I just struck a chord with me, no pun intended there. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it was just like my ex-girlfriend, you know. <laughs> just, unfortunately, I survived. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, Fan Expo is, is going to close down eventually. You're going to head off to your next con. That's New York Con? Uh, currently, yep. Our, new sh our next show is New York Comic Con, which is like uh, smack in the middle of, well, I guess early October, October like 9th and 10th, uh, around there. And uh, we're really excited. We're working on a, a collaboration. Like if, it, if all our like timing comes together, Jim Mafood has done all our art and all that. We're doing like an exclusive t-shirt with him. So like a brand new illustration, never before seen, like t-shirt that will be available at our two booths. So you can only get it either at Kirby Crackle or at Mafood's booth. Brand new illustration featuring a bunch of Mob Foods characters and kind of our, uh, you know, our our caricatures of us, uh, you know, I, I won't ruin it. It's a, it's a, we got the design together and we're like, this is awesome. I think people are going to really love it. It's a little nautical. It's a it, little nautical. A little nautical. That's all we'll say. Okay, well, I have to ask this question because you guys are just always rocking all the time though, but what new songs do you have in the works or do you, or is that not a good question to ask? No, no, it's like, fine. We're, we're always talking about that too. You know, we're just, we, we're thinking about what's the next step. We want to just do another thing like we've done, just do album three, you know, or do we want to mix it up for ourselves 
and the fans, and that's kind of what we're thinking about at the moment. You know, no definite moves in that direction, but we are definitely thinking about next convention season and what we want to offer. And uh, here's the final question then. You know, this is going to close down. You're going to head off to the new, the next convention there, and uh, I wish you extreme success at New York Comic Con. I know you guys are going to rock. But what are you guys going to personally take away from this experience here this weekend? Uh, poutine. Uh, <laughs> I love I love poutine. Like coming to Canada, it's just kind of like we went to a place last night, and I was just gonna get a sandwich and some fries. And she's like, "Hey, do you want gravy on that?" I'm like, "I get gravy on that. That is awesome." And he's like, "Do you want to make your poutine?" I'm like, "What? I'm in heaven." It's like, ah. So it's like beer, poutine, and sandwiches. I'm like, you know, this place is great. So I'm gonna go with uh, awesome fans and poutine. Yeah, you know, I had a great time at the panel last night. It's our second time doing a panel, and you know, being that you know we're kind of a new thing in comics, you know, uh, the music kind of deal, the, the panel's kind of a new thing, and, and you know, our kind of kind of weak attempt at trying to make it cool has actually been received well, so I feel good about that. We're going to start doing more panels, and uh, the fans just showed us that we can have fun with that, so. Awesome. Well, hey, I, I, you got fans here. I'm going to let you guys go, but thanks a lot, Dan. It's been a real thanks, pleasure, man. and have a awesome rest of your time. Thanks, man. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. <laughs>